All right, so this is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do. I'm just going to be talking about one of the games that surprised me entirely on um, how it would affect me in terms of my enjoyment. I played The Messenger during the last week and I haven't beat it yet, so this isn't going to be a review. And there's going to be some spoilers in here, nothing too like major or anything like that. I'm just going to basically get my thoughts overall. And so far, I'm enjoying it way more than I originally thought. When I was in my friend Steve's stream, he mentioned The Messenger and it's just something I seen a little bit here and there, some screenshots, and also a little bit of gameplay. But what I didn't expect was how good and how fun the game would be. Uh, originally, I thought it was just going to be somewhat like Ninja Gaiden, maybe a little bit hard like that. And it does take a lot of inspiration from the NES, Ninja Gaiden, and other platformers during that era. And when I was just playing through the game, I did not expect the game to have a lot of humor in it. I thought this was going to be a super serious game and it somewhat starts out like that, right? It starts out like that, but as your village is taken over and it's kind of everything is like going to chaos and being destroyed by demons, it turns into a game that has a lot of comedy and I wasn't entirely sure how to feel about it at first because I didn't think I wasn't sure if it's just going to pull it off. But, you know, there's obviously a lot of other indie games that pull off the comedy pretty well. It was just so funny to see how the shotkeeper, that's where like the first instance of it kind of being like humorous, you know, turned out. You can chat with the shotkeeper. He tells you stories, like these kind of tells that you want to take something to learn from, some some something that you can probably get inside one of the stories. And it's funny because at the same time of it being funny, there's like a lot of value in its story so it's very interesting how these characters interact your main character actually speaks which i was not expecting i thought it was going to be a silent protagonist but boy was i wrong not only that the game is one of the games that kind of is very linear and later on opens up quite a bit that's all i'm going to say i'm not going to say anything else about that uh Especially when you get to the second half of the game. Boy, does things really change in terms of like the art style of the game. Again, I'm not going to say too much because I definitely think this is a game. If you go into it pretty much blind or just with a little bit of knowledge of the game, I think that is where you will enjoy it the most. I, I, I don't know. I, I just got to like play more of this. I have other games I bought some awesome spectacular indie games during the um, Black Friday sale that I still had to play through but this one caught my attention the most out of the other ones that I played so I don't know what to really say about that um, a lot of the combat especially the controls are super fluid I never found any issues at all with the controls and I guess the only really negative thing I would say about the game is it's kind of easy. It's easier than I initially expected it to be. I thought it was going to be like hard Ninja Gaiden game. It's not super hard, not super easy, but it's easier than I kind of wanted. But I think there is going to be probably more of a difficult difficulty curve later on. And I think there is a new game plus. So hopefully that has. Yeah, I think it does. If I seen it right it probably will be much harder which i would actually like to play through the game definitely this game has a lot of replay value i can see like many different ways especially if you're into speed running i always like to mention speed running because it's something that i love to watch and i occasionally do depending on the game that i play and this game has the tools to have some pretty fun speed running and after i'm done actually playing it i think i'm just going to take some time out to actually watch this uh as you can tell i'm pretty excited it's definitely one of the best indie games and i would definitely say one of the best games i played during this year so there's so much more i want to talk about but i can't due to spoilers but i will be back in the future to review this game because yeah i 
I'm definitely enjoying it a lot. Thank you so much everyone for tuning into this video. This is something different. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos where I just really talk about the games that I'm currently playing. I think that might be a lot of fun and something also, you know, I can get up pretty frequently and it's just something probably more chill to actually do. As always everyone, if you enjoyed this video and wanted to stay up to date, here are two videos that can get you started. As always everyone, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.